what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i'm out here today i've got the dozer outside it's a really pretty day we don't get very many of these so i'm trying to get this thing painted today um it's already late in the afternoon but the humidity is really low today it's like 30 percent humidity and about 80 degrees so really pretty day usually our humidity is really high stuff don't dry very good so i want to try to get this thing uh painted at least the dozer part you know obviously i'm not going to get to the blade or the panels and stuff but i want to at least get the dozer sprayed and uh, so I've got everything washed up here. I'm letting it sit here and dry. I've got uh, some stuff mask off that, uh, you know, really needs to be. I ran out of masking tape. So it's going to kind of be what it's going to be. But uh, I had to do a little bit of welding on the, uh, the armrest up here, which was a little bit sketchy because the reason is the bolts go in the top of the fuel tank there. And those bolts are broken off. Uh, down in there and so the armrest is flopping all around somebody had already tack welded the other side and this fuel tank here is bound to have some kind of reinforcement up under there so it's pretty thick I feel like I did remove the tank and I turned the machine down kind of low so I didn't have no chance of burning through it and uh, just put some tacks on that right there after I got it set where I wanted because uh, obviously I didn't want to be you know drilling and then drill down through trying to get the bolts out and do that and then to get metal shavings in my fuel tank. I didn't want to put uh, heat on it with a torch or, or try any of that stuff. Um, so anyway, that's just what I decided to do is to tack weld that on there in a fixed position for me. And uh, if anybody else runs a dozer, well, they probably shouldn't be on my dozer. And uh, well, I guess if I decide to sell it or something, then somebody else can worry about it at that point. But um, not really planning on selling it. So or at least at the moment. So that should be fine as far as that goes. I'm still waiting on parts to come in for this joystick. So I'm leaving all of this stuff loose right now. Um, and so I think I about got everything tidied up here. Oh, I ordered a new seat. The seat come in and uh, the holes are different on the mounting platform there. So I had to redrill some holes. Just gonna put some nuts on the, uh, on the bottom of them down here. Got it centered up where it should go. So uh, I think we're about ready to spray some paint on this as soon as, as uh, it finishes drying. I had to put down some boards here and track this thing out of the shop because as you see, it's a mud hole out here. And whenever you track it back and forth, the tracks uh, pick up mud and it goes around and it drops back all off on the undercarriage here that we need to paint. So um, yeah, that wasn't gonna work. So I uh, put the boards out and I tracked it back and forth and washed it, dragged it back and forth and washed it. And I got it pretty decent, I believe, um, at least for a bulldozer. So anyways, we'll let it sit here and dry for a little bit more and uh, try to get all the moisture out of this because you'll think moisture is off of it and then you spray across it with your air on your paint gun and then it kind of makes a mess. So anyways, we'll uh, let this sit here for a minute. And I'll probably put this on a time lapse or something uh, while I'm spraying paint. I don't have a whole lot of time uh, to do this. As I say, it's getting pretty late in the afternoon. But I'll set you guys up over here and try to get a time lapse of it.
right guys, well, I've got the uh, dozer back in the shop. I'm not 100% done painting. Uh, still like some on the bottom and I've got to paint all the panels and stuff. I'm gonna do a little bit different uh, paint scheme on the floor pan that goes up there and the side steps and stuff, as well as the uh, limb risers, sweeps, and the screen on the back, just to change it up a little bit instead of everything being the, the one color. I also will have to uh, kind of touch this up right here as well where the strap's at. I just needed a way to hold that cylinder up and that's kind of how I had it tied. I did the other side a little different, but whenever I tied this and that's just how I did it. So just did what I had to do and I go back and sand that just a little bit. And whenever I mix up some more paint, I will, uh, you know, I can touch that up. Not a big deal. Um, I was opening the decals up. I ordered decals for this thing about three weeks ago and uh, they've been sitting in a box over there and I didn't open them because I was nowhere close to even needing them. But it turns out I should have opened them because of their incorrect decals. They are for a standard D3C and not the LG, LGP version. Can't talk today. But uh, so anyway, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but when you pay $250 for a set of decals and you're repainting the machine, I kind of like for it to be correct. Um, although it wouldn't be the end of the world. So I sent the guy a message and I'm waiting to hear back from him to see about getting those, uh, which would probably take two weeks to get that sorted out because of the way things are these days. But anyway, um, <clears throat> I've got everything untaped. I've got some new light bulbs for the dash up there and a new fuel gauge. I tested the fuel gauge. The rest of the gauges work. The fuel gauge did not test to work. So I ordered a new fuel gauge and I've got some new LED bulbs for the gauges and uh, stuff in the dash. I've got a hydraulic uh, line down here, this one right here, that is leaking. I think it's uh, the fitting down there that I'm going to have to get a fitting. I'm not sure. I think it's O-ring boss to O-ring face seal fitting. No idea where I had to go to get one of those, but I'm sure it'll be fun to find. Maybe the, a normal hydraulic shop would have one, but I really don't have a normal hydraulic shop. Uh, real local to me so I had to drive somewhere to get one uh, I didn't have enough newspaper and stuff to to tape these up here so I'll probably just take some acetone and kind of wipe these down and get some of the overspray and stuff off that's no big deal um, the seats gonna <coughs> sit in here anyways these are not in the best shape I had to weld them on there I think somebody has kind of replaced the the covering on these at some point but I don't know they're not in the best shape but they're gonna work I'm fixing to set the seat up there now, I suppose. Go ahead and get the seat in there. And then once I do that, um, I don't know if I'll go ahead and try to start painting the panels or if I will uh, put the lights in the dash and stuff or the gauges. One or the other. I was really hoping those decals would, uh, would be correct. I want to get some decals on it, see what it's going to look like. But I guess it is what it is, unless I decide to go ahead and use them. So I got to get the panels over there straightened up a little bit. There's some bent up, and uh, I'll get some paint on those. And then when I start mixing some paint up and stuff, I can get up under here and spray uh, some of this undercarriage up over there. I wasn't going to lay in the mud outside, but I will, uh, <clears throat> I'll wait till I can get the dozer like up right at the door so I can still be on the concrete but uh, the fumes can kind of go outside. I really don't want overspray uh, on everything in here. I did go ahead and paint the exhaust here. I think it got a little bit of overspray on it right there. I'm sure the paint's gonna burn off of that anyway. <clears throat> I didn't have enough uh, paper to get it all the way, all the way taped up. All right guys, so this is like a week later. I've been piddling with this thing a little bit along and uh, I have not did any filming uh, since last week on it. It just seems like everything is going by so slow. Um, anyway, I've got the decals. The guy sent me the wrong decals to start with. Um, the difference is this one here is LGP. The other decals just said D3C. They're on the back. Um, he sent me the correct decals, but if you look right here, they're not 100% cut to the right angle of the hood. If I didn't point that out, you would never notice it. But that's not a big deal. Um, I think they look pretty good. 
there's a whole lot more decals that go on this that I'm not putting on there. And uh, if you've ever looked at a D3 or 4 or 5C from this era, uh, you'll know that this decal goes all the way to the end out here and all the way up here. And the little piece that goes right here I don't have on because I still got to fix this joystick. There's a decal that goes in here. It wraps around the back. Same thing on the other side. I'm not putting all that on there because uh, it just looks too busy to me. Uh, I only want a decal on each side of the hood and one back here. It's a cleaner look, more like the G series and the K series. And if you noticed, we got a little bit of K series paint scheme going on with the black. Um, the, the C series didn't come with any black on them. But I want to do something a little different to, uh, to make it stand out, make it look a little better, a little nicer. Uh, I did put the Caterpillar sticker on the front right here. But I think the, the black really uh, makes it stand out a little better. I've got the uh, floor pan and stuff back up here. I don't have the center section bolted down, and I may have to go back and take some of this off, um, as I say, because i got to do some stuff with this joystick. I still have not fixed the... Uh, park brake solenoid issue. The wires just grounded down there. So there's there's some knickknack stuff that I still got to go back and fix. Um, but I do have most everything put together here. Um, I'll, I've got this new cable put on here. This goes to the hydraulic pump down there that controls the uh, the pressure on there. Keeps you from loading the engine down, bogging it down too much as an adjustment of that cable. So I've got that on there because the other one was messed up. It had a spot rub through. It was binding up. And I've got a new uh, primer here. This one's messed up. I tried to prime it when I put it back together and I couldn't get this pump to work. It's all froze up in there. So I've got a new one of them coming. And uh, I did actually order a, well, I've got the new swivel right here for the joystick. This whole little piece right here. And uh, I think it was like 150 bucks or something because you see that was bad. And I thought I ordered a seal kit, but ordered the wrong seal kit. And these parts are non-returnable, uh, most of this stuff. And uh, so I'm going to have to order the correct part there. As you see there's fluid coming out of there around that. So that's something else we'll have to do in another video. But um, yeah, I've got about everything wrapped up as far as the painting of the actual dozer itself. I've got the, the side panels and everything that I hadn't put on there yet. It could really use some new ones, but I found some, I don't know if they were OEM or just aftermarket, but I seen some on, I think it was eBay or somewhere for like 300 a piece. But the ones that I got, uh, I got them looking halfway decent over there. Uh, beat on them with a hammer and kind of flatten them out. But anyway, got all that done. The limb and everything back up there. Seat mounted. Whole lot of stuff. Tracked it around the yard out there and got mud on it since... Uh, last week I've got to put this front skid pan here back on there but I can't do that because I've just got straight water in this thing I want to make sure everything worked and I didn't have any leaks uh, or any reason to tamper with the cooling system but I've got to drain that water out and put uh, some antifreeze in there so I had to leave that off to get to the drain valve there so uh, yeah She's coming along, it's just a slow process there. As you see, this decal here, if you see here, the cut in the decal is actually supposed to be right here, but it's right here. I didn't even bother cutting it because I'm not taking this loose. But if you see, if I would have moved this decal back, it's already the edge, if I would have moved it back to where this lined up, it would have been hanging off the back here and I had to cut this and then there'd be a big gap up here. I don't know. I mean, they're aftermarket decals, I guess, that the guy makes or whatever. Same thing on the hood on this side. As you see, it's a little, the angle's a little bit off, but it is what it is. Got the uh, pre-cleaner up there cleaned out. I could have ordered with a new one of them there, but like 40 bucks, but. Anyway, I clean the dirt and stuff out of that. It kind of works like a, uh, like a bagless vacuum. The air goes in through here, and it's like a bowl-shaped deal. It, it goes up through the center, and then the dirt settles on the outside, kind of. 
Anyway, a few little knick-knack things I've got to, uh, to tidy up, touch up, as I say. Uh, and then we can get started on the blade. I had the, uh, the bearings for the mounts down there. Then when we pull the blade off and everything, I have that stuff in. And I just hadn't got to it yet. So we got to get the blade cleaned up and uh, painted, narrowed, whatever we're going to do to it. New cutting edge ordered. I hadn't got them ordered yet. I got to go do that and uh, kind of get everything tidied up. So I guess I'll go ahead and wrap this video up and uh, we'll figure out what we're going to do in the next one.